Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex. I hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. Today, I have a different video from the usual ones I upload on this channel. Usually, I'm, I'm uploading uh, tutorials on how to build certain kinds of websites or just providing you with general news. Today, I wanted to give you a top 10 list of what I believe are going to be the most useful and best plugins for everyday users of WordPress. Now, what I mean by an everyday user is somebody who doesn't really have a deep technical expertise of WordPress. You know, you don't know how to work with the functions.php file. You don't know how to make CSS changes. This is going to be a list for just regular users of WordPress. And I believe that no matter how knowledgeable you are, with WordPress, you are going to find this list absolutely useful. And let me say that this is actually going to be a top 11 list and not a top 10 list. I did not want this to be the cliche top 10 and the number must be exactly 10. No, I told myself that, look, when I'm going to make this video and I'm going to find out these plugins, it doesn't matter what the number is going to be. If it's going to be eight plugins, fine. If it's going to be nine plugins, fine. If it's going to be 13 or 19 plugins, then that's exactly the, the number of plugins I'll talk about in this video. I did my research and I found 11 plugins that I feel are the best for WordPress users. And I should also mention that with nearly 60,000 WordPress plugins on the market, I do know that there are many, many, many plugins that are out there that are just as useful as these ones, but I have never heard of them. So if you've heard of other plugins that are just as good as the ones I'm going to mention, please do put them down in the comment section below. Finally, I should mention that this list is in no particular order. So the very first plugin mentioned is not necessarily the best plugin. Uh, I'm just putting out these plugins in a random order. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the very first plugin on our list. All right, so let's start off this list with Elementor. And if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, this is not going to be a surprise because I am the biggest fanboy of Elementor. I love Elementor. In my humble opinion, it is the best page builder plugin for WordPress. And it's not just a page builder, it's more than a page builder because it actually allows you to create a theme. You can create templates for your header, for your footer, for your posts, for your pages, for your archives. It works very well with WooCommerce. It works with LearnDash. It works with so many other kinds of plugins out there. And yes, even though you do have other page builders like Beaver Builder, uh, you have DV, you have Site Origin. In my humble opinion, Elementor is far better than all of them. Now, the base plugin of Elementor is completely free. There is a paid version of Elementor, but the wonderful news here is that even if you don't want to work with the paid version of Elementor, Elementor has so many add-ons and extensions that are free that you can install, and these will further enhance the functionality of the free version of Elementor that you're working with. And of course, here on WebMonkey, I have tons. In fact, I have a whole playlist of tutorials on how to work with Elementor, so be sure to check them out. Now, the next plugin on this list might be a bit of a surprise because it's not exactly what you'd call a sexy plugin. But it is Akismet. What Akismet does is that it fights against spam comments on your website. Spam comments are horrible because they not only affect your Google ranking, but it actually is a big turner for people. Imagine people coming to your website and in the comment section, they start seeing spam comments all over the place. It makes them feel unsafe and they're not likely to make any comments on your website. They might even leave your website and, and never come back because of the spam comments that you have on your site. Now, Akismet is free. Akismet does a wonderful, wonderful job of clearing out all the spam comments. And it is, it is so lightweight that it takes almost no resource at all from your website. It does not slow your website down in any way. In my humble opinion, Akismet is the very best plugin for fighting against spam on your WordPress website. All right, so the next plugin on this list is going to be WooCommerce. And this comes with a bit of an asterisk because WooCommerce is not applicable to every kind of website. If you're not, if you're not selling anything on your, on your website, then you're not going to need WooCommerce. But if you're selling a service, if you're selling a product, if you're selling anything, WooCommerce is going to be the go-to plugin for your WordPress website. The base plugin is absolutely free and with more than 300 available additional uh, extensions and, and plugins that work with WooCommerce, you cannot go wrong with WooCommerce when it comes to selling products or services on your WordPress website. WooCommerce for the win. 
Now, security is of course a big concern for WordPress users, especially given the fact that hackers are constantly trying to hack into thousands and thousands of WordPress websites daily. So when it comes to security, you cannot go wrong with WordFence. WordFence is kind of like the all-in-one security plugin for WordPress. It offers you scans, malware scans. It provides firewalls, prevents brute force attacks, and also monitors activity on your WordPress website so that you know what's being done, you know what plugins are outdated, and you even know when somebody has logged into your site with the admin account. So in my humble opinion, WordFence is the absolute best plugin for WordPress security. And of course, I do have tutorials on my YouTube channel on how you can use WordFence. Be sure to check it out. Now, of course, speed is absolutely vital. In fact, Google and other websites have said that, look, if your site takes longer than four seconds to load, you're likely going to lose thousands and thousands of visitors who will never come to your site again. So as such, speed optimization is an absolute priority. So if you want your site to load as quickly as you send Bolt running a 100 meter sprint, you want to go with a plugin like WP Rocket. In my humble opinion, it is the best caching plugin for WordPress because not only does it provide world-class caching, it provides a ton of other speed optimization features which you would not find in any other caching plugin out there. So when it comes to speed, WP Rocket would be my number one choice. Now let's talk about another unsexy plugin and that's going to be WP Forms. This plugin is used to create forms on a website and it doesn't matter the kind of website you have, whether it's a blog, a business website, an e-commerce website, you do need a contact form on your site so that visitors and possibly uh, potential subscribers or customers can contact you, send you emails, ask you questions, so you need a form. Now what I like about WP Forms is that even though there's a paid version of the plugin, the free version provides a wonderful set of functionality that you can use to create a very simple baseline form that people can use to contact you. It does not slow your website down in any way. And I do know that, yes, there are so many other plugins out there for creating forms like Ninja Forms, Gravity Forms. I've worked with all of them and I personally believe that WP Forms is the best plugin out of all of them. The next plugin on this list might be a bit of a surprise because I can almost guarantee that you may have never heard of this particular plugin before. This plugin is called CSS Hero and in all honesty, this is not the kind of plugin I will normally use but that is because I do know how to work with CSS, I know how to work with HTML. It's not a plugin that I would use. However, for most WordPress users out there, who don't know how to make simple CSS changes to their site, this is where this plugin comes into play. CSS Hero is such a fantastic plugin and honestly, I feel bad for them because it's not as popular of a plugin as it should be. What this plugin does is that it allows you to select any kind of element on your site, whether it's an image, a piece of text, a section, a column, a video, anything at all, and you can make changes. You can change the font style, you can change the font weight, you can add a background color, add a background image, reduce spacing, add margins, add patterns, add borders. You can do so many things with this plugin and it's so easy, especially when you don't have any knowledge of CSS. Now, it's not free, it is a paid plugin, but it's actually surprisingly very, very affordable at $19. Now I do have a full tutorial on how to use CSS Hero. I am an affiliate for CSS Hero, so please, if you're interested in checking out CSS Hero, I'll provide the link in the description box below, the link to the video where I walk you through how to use CSS Hero. And if you'd like to buy CSS Hero, please do use my affiliate link in that video because you'll be supporting me and you'll be helping me grow this channel. But CSS Hero, is definitely a plugin that I urge you to check out, especially if you're somebody who struggles to make simple CSS or design changes on your website. Now, the next plugin on this list is another plugin that I will normally not use, but that's because I do have the technical expertise to work without it. But in many occasions, if you've been working with third-party applications, like let's say Facebook or Google, and they provide you with some code and they say, hey, add this code to the header of your website or add this code to the footer of your website, this plugin allows you to do so very, very conveniently. You no longer have to look for the header.php file of your website or the footer.php. You simply install this plugin. You have two boxes. If you're going to add the code to the header, you add it to the first box. If the code is meant to go to the footer, you add it to the second box, you save and you are done. I love this plugin and everyday users of WordPress 
will find this plugin absolutely useful as well. It is by WP Beginner. It is completely free and also completely lightweight. I love this plugin. Now, there are times when you may just want to make a simple backup of your website or maybe transfer the contents of your website from one domain to another. The all-in-one WP migration tool is the best plugin for this, in my humble opinion. What I love about this plugin is the fact that it is so simple to use. It is not as technical as the other similar plugins that would require some additional knowledge of WordPress and PHP. With this plugin, with a few clicks, you can make a backup of your website, you can clone your site and transfer all the contents of your site from one domain all the way to another. In fact, I have a full tutorial here on YouTube on how to make use of this plugin, so be sure to check it out. But when it comes to making backups, migrating contents of one website to another, all in one WP migration is the best plugin for this, in my humble opinion. All right, the next plugin on our list here is going to be Rank Math. And if you're watching this video and you're still using Yoast as your go to SEO plugin for WordPress, then I feel sorry for you because Rank Math is a far superior plugin to Yoast. In fact, I have a full tutorial here on YouTube on how to use Rank Math, but I also have a tutorial or kind of like a review comparing both Rank Math and Yoast, and I show you specifically why Rank Math is actually a superior plugin to Yoast. Rank Math has everything that Yoast has and even more. And the best part about Rank Math is that there's actually going to be a paid version coming out, I believe in two days time, Monday, I believe uh, the 9th of November, 2020, which promises to revolutionize WordPress SEO. I've already seen a few of the features that the plugin is going to provide, and this is going to blow everyone away. But don't worry, the free version of Rank Math is still fantastic. It is amazing. I guarantee you that when you switch from Yoast to Rank Math, you're going to see an improvement in your ranking scores for Google, Bing, and other major search engines. Be sure to check out my tutorials on how to use Rank Math and also watch the video where I compare Rank Math and Yoast. Stop using Yoast. Rank Math is the best plugin for WordPress SEO. All right, last but not least on this list is going to be the Uncanny Automator. And in fact, this is a plugin I just discovered literally about two or three weeks ago. And this plugin, in my humble opinion, is one of the very best for creating automations on your WordPress website. So let's say, for example, you have a WooCommerce website and you want to create a particular kind of scenario where if somebody buys a particular product, you can send them an email thanking them for buying that product specifically. Or maybe you've created a new post and you want to inform your users or your subscribers that, hey, you've created a new post. You can do so with this plugin. This plugin is fantastic. It allows you to create so many kinds of automations. And even though there is a paid version of the plugin, the free version is fantastic. It provides you with so many kinds of functionalities. You can create so many kinds of automations. And in fact, I use the plugin in my latest WordPress course where I show you how to build two membership websites. I use it with LearnDash and I also use it with the Memberships Pro plugin because it is just a fantastic plugin that enhances the functionality. It has a lot more functionality to your WordPress website, regardless of whether it's a blog, a, a, a marketing website, an e-commerce website, a, 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 an online platform, it doesn't matter. This plugin works well across all different kinds of websites with WordPress. And I do have a tutorial here on YouTube showing you how you can make use of this plugin. So be sure to check it out. Woo! So there you have it, my top 11 plugins for everyday WordPress users. And I hope you found this video useful. And of course, like I said, if you're interested in learning more about any of these plugins that I've talked about, I have created several tutorials for some of them, not all, but I do plan to cover every one of them. I will have links to the tutorials in the description box below. If you do plan on buying any, buying any of the premium versions of these plugins like Elementor, uh, CSS Hero, I am an affiliate for them. So I will also have my links in the description box below if you want to support me please do buy them using my link because I'll get a small commission. Now, of course, what did you think about this video? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Are there other plugins that you feel I should have talked about? Of course, put your comments, put your questions, put everything down below uh, in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer as many of them as I possibly can. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure creating this video. Do let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you want me to make more videos like this, I can make more videos like, you know, top 10 plugins for WooCommerce, top 10 plugins for WordPress security, things like that. So if you're interested in videos like this, uh, do let me know. So it's been a blast. Stay safe out there. Enjoy your weekend and I'll talk to you next time.